Hello, this is God of Seven, and today we're going to be talking about the wonderful world of Super Mario 64 DS Collisions, or CLPS for short. Now, uh, this is a lot different than the new editor and the old one, so that's why I'm making this tutorial. But anyways, you're going to need your ROM and your Super Mario 64 DS editor, the Jupa Hey new version. You should know by now which one that is. If you don't, well, go find it in the description or something. So, after I got my ROM here, I'm going to just take this random level, say Bomb Bomb Battlefield for simplicity, and I'm just going to replace it. And I'm going to show you something you may not have known. So I'm going to load an external model. Alright, now once your model is loaded, you're going to want to scale it as normal. So, I'm not going to try too hard to scale this thing. In fact, it'd be better if I have it relatively small for this example. Because of, I want to like show all the CPLPS stuff. And want to move around normally. Or, might want to make it a bit smaller for simplicity. There we go. Just a bit more. Now obviously this is too small, but it doesn't really matter since I want it to kind of be small anyways. So I can demonstrate CLPS. So I'm going to take this game scale and put in the game scale here. Alright. You may not have noticed this thing here, in which if I actually go and locate it in documents. And if I go in version 3 area 1 you can see all the materials. So for now I'm just going to associate their own thing. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Now, most likely, you're not going to have that many CLPS, but after that, you can just hit assign. Then you can see how everything is all nice and colored here. And you can even see that some of the missing planes that weren't there just earlier even show because that's just how this editor is. So if I hit import model and collision map, should say select successfully imported then I can just reload this window and you can now see Bob on battlefield is now fine alright now I removed all objects so things are not constantly in the way and I'm just going to locate our start warp which is a uh, in this case, all the way over here. Doesn't really matter what I do with it for now. I'm just going to put it all the way over here. And now, time to talk about CLPS. Now, those random numbers I assigned earlier, I assigned a collision to each texture. Now, you could do each plane manually, which I'll show you in a second here, but you can see that there's a bunch of numbers here in this grid looking thing well if I actually go into Bob on battlefield and I hit edit collision map you can see that there's a whole lot of colors here and if I select the plane here you can see it gives me the collision type now if you forgot to assign these materials you can still do so here So once again, if I select that, you can see it gives me collision 12. So in CLPS, I go to collision 12, which in this case is uh, the grass. Yep, it'd be the grass because grass is over here. So this would be editing the grass. Now, it, luckily it says grass already, but I want to make this behave normally almost. 
but what do these values here mean? All of these values here go for ID 12. Now, luckily there's a document that has uh, most of these documented by Sugarbrush for simplicity. And of course, Josh65536 for this one thing here. But basically what you do is you go in each kind of thing here and you just pick and choose the values you want. So for texture, we want grass or two. Is it water? No, it's not. So we put zero. View ID? We don't want it to look from any view ID. So if you don't want any view ID, 63. Although if you want to hook it up with a view, you can hook it up there. And traction, which is a... Uh, one is unslippable, two is also one. You can walk up really sleep slow, so you can't walk. And you basically, yeah, it's what it says. I just want to, I want it. I want one. Because you don't want to slip on grass. And camera behavior. So let's look here. Ada's go behind player. And it's also used for your preference. And you can do anything. I might just have it be 11 for comedy purposes. Behavior. Now, what does the behavior do? You can have it act like any of these. I never even knew this kind of death plane existed, but it does apparently. So, might just want to keep that at zero if you don't want any behavior. And camera through, that should, doesn't really seem to say that here, but camera through has something to do with, uh, if the camera can go through the material or not. So it's rather going to be zero or one. Toxic says whether it's it's like a substance that's toxic, kind of like that toxic water in Hazy Maze Cave. These will always be zero or most likely zero. Well, that one is most likely going to be zero, but these two will always be zero doesn't matter what you put there doesn't matter and now the wind path ID if this is a value other than 255 then wind will follow a path which I will try to demonstrate later and yeah so I also going to try and get the lava here to work so that's ID 19 so likewise for ID 19 we're going to do the same thing we're going to have a for the texture doesn't really matter I guess cuz it's going to be lava so it's going to be a surface view ID doesn't matter camera type normal camera behavior lava camera through no toxic there we go. That's good enough. I might add a few extra here just in case we need it because I did add quite a few CLPS. I'm going to hit save and then let's go test it and see how it appears in game. All right. And as small as our model is, you can see that it's here. The grass makes grass sounds and the camera angle is exactly how I want it to be being super close to you. Now all the other CLPS, doesn't matter what they do because I didn't set them. But you can see that lava definitely does act like lava. And yeah, our CLPS just works correctly. But yeah, basically that's all I can really say about this tutorial. There's not too much to go on and I'm not going to do every possible combination out there. So you just need to play around, 
with this document. Try things out yourself. And just have fun. Hope you enjoy this tutorial and I'll see you all later.